Hi everybody, apologies for running late. Um, technology and I are best of friends. Um, anyway, moving on, moving forward. Uh, we'd love to see uh, a few people coming on board and having a chit chat with me. Uh, we're doing some live um, mini reads. Uh, so if you want to click in and come aboard and uh, let's get moving and uh, let's get spirit um, a little bit engaged with whatever's going on in everybody's lives and obviously um, the more questions that you can put up here a little bit easier for me. Hi Benjamin, hi Stephanie, thanks for joining in tonight um, and all others who are now coming on board. Um, I have some simple rules and you'll see that written there uh, in my little blurb. Um, it simply says if you're interested in hearing something from me, um, my guides are very very particular uh, the way in which they prefer to work is for you to ask a direct question um, saying reading or mini read or uh, saying something general uh, isn't necessarily the way in which they prefer it to be so if you've got a question ask the question as directly as possible the way in which that works for me is I send that back up to them and then they come back down with as quickly um, well, well with the response as quickly as I can manage to do that uh, hello from New Zealand um, I don't do cards I'm sorry I am the instrument so uh, please do keep that in mind um, I don't have anything other than myself uh, hence why it's really important to use a uh, question uh, method with myself. Um, unfortunately, with uh, I guess the way in which my guides work, as I was saying before, uh, the question that you ask is the way in which I can get that message back to the other side as quickly as possible. Uh, so we have Ashley Lang here. I would like to know about the man I'm in love with. Any guidance on that? Hi, Ashley. Uh, we do have a little bit of guidance here. Um, at the moment, uh, what I'm being shown from the character that's uh, surrounding you, uh, it's a little bit push and pull, hun. Uh, I believe that the communication line here isn't as open and as direct as what you would prefer it to be. Um, I'm also being shown that he's a little bit confused about his own emotions at present, and that is a little bit to do with previous relationship, not so much you. Um, I do feel they would like to explore things with you they just don't know to what extent you are going to have to be patient here and you're going to have to wait until they're in a better headspace and a better emotional space if you push too quickly here sweetheart you're going to push this character away best of luck with that patience is definitely required with this one Hi Esther, oh, so lovely to see you too, my darling. Not that I've got much to see here, a uh, little picture of you. Um, next few months have in store for me. Uh, Esther, um, as mentioned, uh, the need to be a little bit more specific with your question. Um, obviously there's lots in store uh, over the next few months, but you need to be a little bit more direct. Pick a topic, pick a title, pick uh, something uh, that makes it a little bit faster for me to zone in to that particular area. And that way, uh, as we're moving, as we're doing it, it becomes a bit swifter and I can also get through as many people as possible. Hi, Maria. Any messages from my father, Benjamin Carter? Uh, ben Carter, let's see, messages from your father. Uh, okay. Um, Benjamin, there's a bit of forgiveness being offered uh, in regards to your dad. Um, he keeps telling me that uh, because of not being able to do a proper closure with you, the emotional space that you're still in, it doesn't feel like you've had a great deal of closure. Um, he's in a good space on this side, so that's a good thing for you at least to know. Um, he does tell me that um, in communication with you in your younger years, uh, it wasn't so good, but as it got better in the adult life, uh, this is now that part of you that you're craving, that you're missing, uh, all the extra parts of the storyline that you probably could have got had uh, you both been able to communicate that a little bit better. Um, your dad is a very uh, funny person. He keeps uh, showing me he takes the piss out of everything. I know that might sound like a really bad uh, expression, but he keeps showing me everything is uh, done with humour. It's done in a way that it's a bit hard to know whether or not he's being serious. Um, and he says, and he wants you to keep that in mind. Don't take life so serious, okay? So I guess that's his general message to you, uh, not to take life too seriously. Uh, lots of love and uh, lots of um, support from him from the other side. Um, tells me that you've been going through a little bit uh, in regards to financials and a few other, uh, we'll call it just um, readjusting on that financial front, but he does want you to know that everything's going to be okay. Rosanna Hodges, will I get the promotion I've 
been waiting on at work, please and thank you. Uh, Rosanna, I am being told that you're very favorable for this. Uh, this promotion it has been very long-winded. Um, I don't feel that that has anything to do with you. I feel that's been a little bit more to do with the transition of uh, different characters. There's been some stuff coming and going and a few other, um, we'll call it internal tweaks. Uh, this is to do with the politics inside the organization. Uh, but I am being shown the nature of the role that you're stepping into in truth you're technically already doing that role uh you just haven't necessarily moved up in the sense of title and true entitlement which means that they haven't financially um compensated on aspects of that role at this stage i'm going to suggest that it's a little bit of training for you um and when i'm looking at all of this i can see that it's a really positive good healthy outcome uh no need to rush no need to jump into uh feeling like you need to um, transition everything so quickly. I'm being shown the ability to allow the mentors to give you the guidance on the role is going to be more favorable for you. It just means that that way, as the role is being tweaked, altered, um, shifted and changed, you're adapting alongside that position. Honestly, all really good things for you here, Dal. Hi, everyone else that's watching, coming on board. Uh, Ashley Lang, you're more than welcome, sweetheart. Uh, Benjamin, I hope you did get that message that we put out to you not so long ago. Should I apply for another job or should I stay in my current job? Stephanie Samaras. Oh, Stephanie, this is a tricky one. Uh, I'm going to put it to you that at present, um, staying in your current job is your better option. They are recommending, however, to start putting your feelers out there, start having a bit of a look at uh, what it is that you particularly want to do. Uh, you seem to jump around ever so slightly in the ideas, the views, the um, passion about the career. But what they're saying here is, uh, it is time to transition, but you've got to know 100% what you want to transition to, and that seems to be the bit that's uh, overthinking and a bit of confusion. Um, they do talk about uh, question marks to extra study and uh, wanting to just brush up on some skills for you there, love. Um, again, I would be taking my time in transition here, uh, not just walking away from current job and then jumping straight into the next thing. You do have to pace yourself. You do have to take a little bit of time here. And when you're looking for that next job, you need to be a little bit more uh, mindful not to settle the way you settled for this one. Do you understand this? Okay. Um, while I feel this job has um, currently uh, been satisfactory to a certain point, you've definitely outgrown it, Dal. So it is time to put on some, uh, I guess, new skills, new hat, uh, and start pushing that career forward for yourself. You're definitely on the right track, though. Ah, uh, Bobby Robinson, uh, my finance is going to improve. Thank you. Um, Bobby, uh, you've already started to make some good solid changes with your behavior with monetary, uh, just being a little bit personally stricter, a little bit uh, better with ensuring that as you're spending money, as you're starting to think through where it's going, that you're not being as wasteful as you have in the past, which is really, really good. And I think sometimes life circumstances forces a little bit of that outcome. And I can see that's kind of what's happened to you. A lot of the situation that you're confronted with financially wasn't all things out of your own personal doing. So you do have to take a breather. You do have to recognize that improvement is already on its way. And part of that is your personal behavior, but part of it is also um, the fact that there is a bit of new money coming in as well so i keep being shown oh that breathing moment that you're looking for it's coming on board okay so please a little bit more um discipline and this could be something like uh putting five dollars aside a week or uh even uh just like not buying that extra something you know justifying it just that little bit more uh and taking personal responsibility for the outcomes but you're on the right track which is really good to see Okay. Moving along. Oh, welcome all the first timers. Lovely to see you all on board. Um, for those who are first timers, uh, the way in which I work is a little bit different to others. I don't have tarot cards. I don't have anything uh, tangible that I can show you. Uh, it's really important that if you do want to hear a message from me, uh, that you write it up as a solid question. Okay. Uh, while 
sometimes I'll allow for loved ones to come through. It will just depend on whether or not that loved one is willing to participate in this particular platform. Uh, sometimes loved ones don't want to, and that's partly because they prefer the sessions to be a little bit more privatized. Uh, try not to ask too much about other people. It really should be in this particular platform, messages that are relevant to yourself, okay? So things that can help you move forward in your current life and current situation, okay? Uh, we've got Miriam Harold. Uh, Miriam, I hope you can hear me nice and clearly here. I'm trying to read the rest of your message. It's a little bit of a long one. Uh, okay, hi there. Can you tell me what the future of my business will be? I just opened a new office and I'm hoping it will do well long term. Uh, Miriam, uh, I am being shown that there was a lot of hiccups and a lot of hurdles with documents and files and all this other stuff that kind of went on uh, prior to getting it to where it is today. And I think a lot of it was uh, funding and finances and so forth. Um, now that I'm looking at the business structure and where it sits at the moment, I can see that um, the way in which you're structuring everything, the attention to detail, uh, dotting all your I's, crossing all your T's, uh, you seem to be a little bit more inside of the flow of things instead of constantly trying to control each outcome. Um, they show me, you know, scratching your head at a lot of things and what you thought was going to be the outcome and then what actually was the outcome became almost like two separate things. But now that all those hiccups, all those hurdles, all those issues have been pushed to the side, I can see, yep, while some of it's still a little bit of a headache, they show me it's still kind of getting through some of the feelers here. Um, I think like all businesses, Del, uh, there's always room for growth, always room for improvement, always uh, the ability to tweak it, refine it, and you're already doing all of that, babe. So please just keep going the way that you are. Uh, when I'm looking at the longevity of it, um, you have the right energy, you definitely have the right mentality mentality and you're moving along in the right pace okay so please just keep going as you are okay uh, please try not to generalize people. Um, I really, really um, would love you guys to be a bit more on point with your questions, okay? So make it a question for me. The, the more the questions, the faster I can move, okay? My guys like pace, all right? So keep that up. Uh, keep the momentum moving. The bigger the question, uh, the more relevant the question to you, the faster it's going to come in, okay? Uh, Benjamin, lovely to hear that you and your, your dad were best of friends. He literally was trying to, you know, show me his... Um, um, sense of humor, his funny side, uh, that kind of, um, you know, in jokes. And I think it would, some of it, I think probably would have been a little bit inappropriate in this kind of platform. Uh, but he does uh, know that you'll get through all your little challenges that you've got going on. So keep going. Uh, we've got here Trudy Pitts. Uh, love a message, please. Keep missing the signs from my angels. Mm, a lot going on. Okay. Um, Trudy, it is a little bit general, but uh, they're wanting me to address it, so I will. Um, the, I don't feel it so much that you're missing the signs. I think what it is is when you get the sign, you're actually overthinking it, you're overanalyzing it, and then you look back in hindsight and you're like, okay, you know, I think I may have uh, dismissed it, and now that I've seen this, I can kind of move it forward again. Um, I, I need you to be writing your stuff down, babe, okay, because your head's too full. Um, they keep showing me one thing after another, after another, after another. It's that whole feeling like the plate's too full. Um, so they're saying write it down, um, even if, like, it's just a kind of fleeting moment thought. Um, that way, when the messages come in or when the information comes in, you can see a little bit better as to how that works and why they may have given you that particular sign or why they may have given you that particular symbol. You'll start then to have a better diarized platform of what are your true symbols because they will show things in repetition. The things that aren't actually your symbols, you'll be able to go, okay, never saw that again, never saw that again, never saw that again. And then you'll start to know how they're working with you a little bit, Del. Um, so I don't feel that so much that you're missing it. I think you're jumbling up the difference between what's their messages and what's just an everyday thing. Okay, so while your plate is definitely full, um, it all comes back down to prioritizing, mind mapping, clearing the headspace so that not all of it's being held up here. They show me you try to hold on to every single thought, let some of it go and only write down the poignant things, the things that really seem to stand out to you. 
uh, we've got Lotus Vincent. Uh, can you advise if I will change jobs this year? Uh, Lotus, as you already know, you're in transition of uh, looking for new work. Uh, they show me that you've already started to revisit your resume or at least starting to tweak aspects of that. Uh, they do tell me that you're maintaining similar industry. It's only similar. It's not exactly the same. Uh, you're definitely moving up in channels and ranks. And a lot of the skills that sometimes in previous or current work has been done moment, um, you're going to have the opportunity to bring some of that to the forefront. I think that's really good because uh, you're very gifted as a character and I think some of your skill sets are very much um, overlooked where you currently are. So uh, keep going with all of that. Uh, Mirawa Paul, I, I do apologize if I have said that wrong. Uh, Nuri Wa Paul? Uh, hey, would love a reading, please. Uh, again, guys, we don't do general here. I don't have time to look at general, okay? So let me simplify all of this for you guys. When I'm working with a client individually, uh, my, my guides uh, and also their guides like to go through category, right? So normally we would look at somebody's world and we'd say, okay, what's going on in their career? Uh, what's going on in their financials? What's going in their friendship circles? What's going in their, in their love life? What's going on uh, perhaps in family, okay? And when we're reading, uh, we like to be able to really get into the nuts and bolts of the Pacific of a particular area. So when you're asking uh, me to look at something for you, you need to kind of strip up that area and give that back to me because then I can come in and go, right, okay, let's have a look at this. Let's go down this direction. Let's tweak it a little bit. How do we get uh, you guys on the right track and on the right path for that particular subject, okay? Um, if you're wanting to hear from loved ones, like I said before, this isn't the ideal platform for it. Occasionally they'll bring it through. And I think earlier before, uh, we did bring somebody's dad through who um, had a really good sense of humor. Uh, I think part of his dad wanting to come through is because his dad probably uh, wouldn't normally do this and he probably thought it was a funny sort of situation. So that all said and done, you want to hear from me, I want to answer a question for you, throw me an answer, I will give you a response, okay? Sorry, throw me a question. I'll give you an answer. See, my guides are like, ah. Uh, we can talk a mile a minute. So again, please uh, be on point, okay? Okay. We've got Julia, uh, Julia Heckenberg. I do hope I've said that right. Uh, Julia, if you're still listening and tuning in with me, uh, welcome on board. Um, now, uh, Julia, what we've got here is, hi, would love to get guidance on new career and studying path. Any messages from my dad? Okay, let's just start with your, your true question at the moment, which is uh, guidance on career and studying. Um, when I'm looking at your um, career pathway, you've already kind of uh, got that on the right track. And I think you've spent a bit of time uh, focusing on which study uh, would best um, map you to that path. Okay. So that's actually really quite good. Um, you haven't quite started the studying just as yet, I'm being told, um, but you're definitely on board with it. So again, uh, lovely um, looking into all of that, uh, definitely heading that in the right direction. Uh, at this moment, not getting a message from your dad, Del, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that wouldn't necessarily be a situation futuristically. They're just saying in this particular moment, um, this is more based on guides wanting to give you a bit of direction. Katerina, hi, lots of love out to you, my darling. Um, hope you can hear me nice and clearly there, um, everyone that's kind of joining in. All right. Um, moving along, moving along, moving along. No question, no answer, guys. Come on, put it as a question. Uh, is the work I love, which is my business, going to take off and support me so I can leave my current job? Uh, Bobby, as we discussed a little bit before about your career path and the direction that you're heading, it is actually already in the right direction. Um, as for walking away from current job and then trying to transition into new job, one of the things that you've got to keep in mind here is stability and the security, okay? Um, it wouldn't be the right decision to just cut that current job in order to just, you know, take that leap of faith into current business. Um, the way in which you're kind of juggling it and, and I guess 
uh, building upon the storyline, you're definitely going about it the right way, which in turn eventually gives you that option to then say, okay, I'm financial, I'm stable in the business side of things, I've grown it to a point where I physically cannot keep up both parts, okay? One of them has to give, and of course that would naturally then be the current job, okay? So uh, that for me, like I said, you're already doing what you need to do there. Welcome everybody else that's watching. Hi, Cheyenne James. That's one of my favorite names. Cheyenne is actually my daughter's middle name. Uh, okay, keep going, keep going. Please don't ask for just a reading. Come in and ask me an actual solid question, please. All right, we've got Alicia Cassiota. I don't know. Um, hello, would love a reading on my future. Please on finances and career first time here. Welcome aboard. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the um, financial side of things, okay? Um, firstly, when I'm looking at the financials, I can see that there's been a little bit of one thing after another uh, that's been a little bit of a hiccup and has held you back uh, a little bit in the sense of what you've needed to do to mind map and financially get ahead. Um, they do tell me that you've now spent a bit of time cleaning it all up. So as much as it has been a headache, it's been a bit of a drama, um, the financial part actually is going to improve. Now, part of the improvement does come from the career. So yes, you're right, it is a double-bladed question. Um, when I'm looking at the career pathway, um, they tell me that there's some new things already on the horizon for you. So you've been working on uh, some of the changes that you want to implement, some of the um, skill sets that you want to improve on. I feel if you keep pushing that career pathway and actually start thinking a little bit more about uh, what type of work you want to do and focus then back on what your self-worth is, what your dollar value to yourself is, and actually uh, believe in yourself a little bit because your confidence is a little bit down, um, then the career pathway opens. Alongside of that, the money also then comes in. So the balance will actually come back on track for you. Um, stop panicking. I keep being told she panics a lot about money. Uh, she thinks about all the things that she could have done differently, uh, how at this point of the journey she should have achieved this, she should have achieved that. Let it go, babe. Uh, you're definitely doing way too much overthinking about uh, what the past has offered, uh, not enough about what you're currently doing, which automatically is going to improve your future outcomes, okay? So be in your now, don't be so far ahead and don't be so far behind, okay? Already doing what you've got to do. So they're showing me here, everything actually is going to be okay. I need you to trust yourself. Okay, uh, welcome on board, Sandy. Oh, Julia, thank you so much for loving my mirror. My husband actually made this for me. He's very talented. Um, if you look in the mirror and you'll see other mirrors at the top, uh, he also makes those mirrors as well. Um, I can actually post that up for you guys a little bit later uh, in the messaging, but um, the, the mirrors are beautiful. Um, they can all be personalized as well. Um, okay, moving along, moving along. Uh, Nicola Ingalls would love a reading on the next month for my mental health, please. Uh, Nicola, first and foremost, I'm sorry to hear that you have been through a lot, okay? Um, your mental health, uh, it's not something new. I keep being shown anxiety, depression, uh, being kind of stuck in the middle of both of those, the yo-yo effect that can sometimes go on uh, when we're suffering from mental health. Uh, you've been through an array of mixed emotions, okay? Um, part of your mixed emotions comes in from heartache and heartbreak, so somewhere along the way, um, an emotional situation uh, that prompted a lot of the current circumstances for your mental health. Um, also, a little bit of, um, I guess without getting into all of it, a bit of family dynamics there as well. Um, you're definitely taking all the right strategic methods to improve the overall outcome. Mental health is not something that can just be switched on and switched off, okay? It's about learning uh, how to change aspects of 
how we relate to situations and circumstances in our lives. Uh, what we need to switch off from, what we need to tune better into. Um, they are showing me um, when you are feeling a bit heightened or you're feeling a little bit overloaded and overwhelmed, uh, going for a walk or going and getting a really good book that you can dive into uh, where you're thinking about the other character rather than always just thinking about where you're at and what's going on um, and being a little bit more uh, flexible with understanding that everything constantly changes, nothing is fixed, okay? Uh, life is like a river. Uh, the flow of the river is constantly moving. Sometimes it's a nice trickle uh, and sometimes it's a rapid, okay? So uh, you need to allow the emotions to shift and change as you're also feeling all those shifts and changes in yourself, okay? But you're definitely doing um, as much as you can. Uh, would love to see you diarising just a little bit more um, some of these feelings that you've got going on because some of them are really quite strong feelings um, but also uh, making a connection as to why that particular thing has triggered you or why that particular person uh, brings up trauma or brings up um, certain amount of stress or anxiety for you because sometimes it seems to be people orientated they seem to bring a lot of this out in you uh, and then sometimes it's the situation so I think you need to um, spend a bit of time uh, working out the difference so that as your coping mechanism starts to shift and change. Uh, you're also learning then how to cope inside a situation, but also cope with certain people. You're, you're going really well though, sweetheart. Really proud of you. So keep pushing along. Okay. Hello, 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 all you beautiful people watching. Um, so, so pleased um, to see so many on here uh julia someone leaves me 10 cent coins um oh sweetheart um coins are a very particular thing that um spirit often does leave behind my husband uh particularly ends up with five cent pieces um i often end up with feathers but then that's the nature of me um and um sometimes um spirit also leaves uh what we call shards of glass okay so sometimes when a uh, situation has been shattered and person hasn't quite um healed from the situation uh pieces of glass uh, can also present themselves uh, sometimes rose petals um, sometimes uh, the smell of roses or flowers or uh, today I got given a gorgeous carnation when I was out on a, a little bit of a hike with my husband this afternoon um, so um, spirit does present itself in a multitude of different ways um, I can't tell you who is leaving the um, the 10 cent pieces uh, it's not being shown to me uh, what I would highly recommend though is you look at the date and the year on the 10 cent pieces and see if it represents something to you or to somebody else that you you're connected to because often the year has uh, a little bit of relevance okay hi donna gregory welcome on board donna gregory would love my work guidance or home front firstly which one should i focus on work guidance or home front okay um donna i think for the moment your work front is doing what it's just got to do okay clock on do your job clock off go the hell home um and then give the energy and the attention to the home front because i feel if your home front is toxic and it's not doing all the things that you need it to do that's actually when the workspace also becomes a little bit more uh um how can i say overloaded overwhelming it becomes the headache um work you know you're there for its purpose okay you exercise you do the job you do what you have to do you get paid for it right uh if your home front is out of balance or it's uh not giving you harmony um then it affects absolutely everything so definitely need to give your attention to the home side of things first okay get that balanced and then the work side of it will sort itself out too Okay. Welcome aboard Esther Palmer. Welcome Diane Clark. Uh, please do remember people, if you are just putting your name down, sometimes spirit may want to come to you. Uh, it doesn't always need to uh, be a particular question for them to want to come on board. Sometimes they'll just want to. Uh, Georgia Rose. Hi, beautiful. I've lost two beautiful babies. Just wanting to have anything for me. Hopefully one day I'll get to have children. Uh, Georgia, I'm so sorry to hear about your rainbow babies. Um, firstly, to understand a little bit about um, the reason why in today's world um, there are probably a little bit more miscarriages or um, a few more other um, birthing situations. Once upon a time in our past lives, we had multiple, multiple, multiple children. So 
roll backwards uh, it was not uncommon for a woman to have 10 children it was not uncommon for a woman to have uh, five children right so five and kind of up was a little bit of a common number as opposed in to day today's society and community maybe two maybe one maybe three is a slightly more common number so sometimes when we have rainbow babies uh, it is because um, part of our past life is still connected into what we're doing in this lifetime. So just to sort of help you understand that a little bit, Georgia, um, I have uh, two rainbow babies and then I have a child and then I have rainbow twins, okay? And then I have a child, right? So all up, um, uh, the number of uh, pregnancy I've, I've had is five, uh, but I've only physically birthed two babies. Now, if I went back and looked at my past lives, uh, on more than one occasion, I had up to six, seven babies. Now, um, my husband has two children from previous partnership. When I add those two children also into the equation of my life, I have the amount of children that I physically would have had in past life, okay? Um, please don't be disheartened uh, at this moment uh, where you haven't physically birthed a child, okay? Your uh, rainbow babies are still very much connected to you uh, through spirit, okay? And what happens is when you then go on to add uh, more children to the equation. Uh, the uh, rainbow babies also act as guides to these uh, physical children. So to simplify that, my two uh, who I miscarry uh, prior to having my eldest, they play a big role with my daughter. The two twins that I miscarry in between, they play a big role with my son. Okay, so with yourself, it is a similar situation. What is important to take out of this is the fact that you can actually fall pregnant, sweetheart, and I am being shown that that is a possibility. Uh, I do believe that you and partner are still actively trying, so that has not been completely ruled out. Uh, I do believe that there were some question marks around fertility and also some question marks around uh, trying some alternative and uh, different methods. This could be something like acupuncture or something along those lines, uh, but you're definitely heading that in the right direction, okay? So um, don't lose faith, don't lose hope, sweetheart. Just keep pushing along, all right? Thanks, Georgia Jose. Moving along now. Oh, Merriman, you're so lucky. Thank you. You're welcome. Nicola Ingalls, you're welcome there as well, sweetheart. Ah, Angie Marie, oh look, Cola Vecchino, look, names and me, we're just so not on the same page and let me explain a little bit about that. Uh, names, when I'm looking at a name or when I ask a client to offer me their name, um, that's this current lifetime's name, <laughs> not necessarily uh, the name in which you have been called uh, originally or your soul vibration name, okay? So I do apologize uh, if my guides are just like, whatever, uh, this is the character that we want to go to. So Angie Marie, uh, we're coming to you. Um, hi, I'd love to hear anything about health or work, okay? Um, work I am satisfied with. I know it's not ideal. I know the characters here sometimes cause you a lot of uh, mental and emotional grief. I love that you're not getting involved in the politics. Okay, let's just leave that as is. Okay, um, but let's um, have a little bit of look at this health side of things because um, I keep being shown uh, with the health side of things, there's a bit going in uh, on in the lower region, uh, but they're telling me this is because you're focusing on your health. So you're wanting to uh, eat better, you're wanting to exercise better, you're wanting to, you know, really um, think through uh, some of the day-to-day -day, uh, living and lifestyle and the uh, regime that you're wanting to create, which for me is really, really good. Um, you're on the right track with a lot of those um, changes, if I can put it to you like this, okay? But the one thing they keep telling me is that you stop and you start and you stop and you start so by the time that you're finally starting and the body's creating a um, new pattern and rhythm with that health you then drop it down okay and then you let it go and then you start again right so the body's not actually getting time to show you its end result do you understand this okay so um 
most of the time, if we change something in the way in which we eat or the way in which we sleep or the way in which we exercise, you won't see results until after a good 12 weeks, okay? What I'm finding is that you get into the third or the fourth week and then it's kind of like plateaued, okay? You get either bored or you get exhausted with it um, and then you'll give yourself a break again and then you'll start it all over again. doesn't work like that, babe. need you to go for a good 12 weeks of being solid, being strict, being really disciplined and then you'll start to see an end result and it's that end result after that 12 weeks that keeps the momentum moving for the ongoing changes to improving your health okay but definitely getting it um on track i just need you to stick with it a little bit longer uh, questions 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 people remember it has to be a question for me all right Sonia, no, it's Sunny, Sonny. What's happening with me? I'm not sleeping for 25 years. Hmm. First and foremost, uh, while you have insomnia, uh, that's the obvious part. Uh, it is also partly uh, because when you are asleep, it's the only time that your brain's actually shutting off. And so then what happens is, uh, spirit wants to communicate. They want to talk with you. They want to share with you. And then they're creating uh, disturbed sleep and then you keep waking up. So then you get broken patterns and broken sleep. Uh, so it actually comes through a little bit more like a chronic fatigue, uh, type element for you. Uh, but it's laid with, um, the insomnia. Um, I would highly recommend uh, trying to retrain yourself into your sleep pattern. Um, so retraining yourself into a sleep pattern could be something like um, the hour before you actually get ready for bed, uh, you might go and have a shower. Uh, you might then uh, do something like a uh, nice kind of... Um, adding in a nice moisturizer before you go to get to bed, something relaxing, uh, picking a book that you can read and then uh, resting the brain uh, a little bit because you've indulged into the book side of things, uh, turning off all electrical devices, phones, tablets, iPads, uh, anything that is electrical um, during that reading process, just until the eyes start to feel a little bit fatigued, put the book down and then talk yourself into uh, going into a deep sleep, okay? Uh, just before you're really ready to hit that deep sleep mode I want you to grab a glass of water I want you to drink that down and I want you to tell yourself that um, you're gonna fall asleep and that when you wake up in the morning you'll feel refreshed okay it's about programming sweetheart um, and because your mindset has already told you you can't sleep uh, when you go to bed then of course it's actually going to keep you awake because you've told yourself and you've programmed yourself so you've got to rewrite your program sweetheart you've got to find ways to eradicate the old behavior from this and install new behavior and then through the new behavior you have to create a strictness to it and a routine. Um, in all spiritual things, everything is a routine. So the minute that you get up and you cleanse and you go through all of that, uh, whether it's brushing your teeth, washing your face, having a shower, all of those things are spiritual ritual. What's happening for you is your spirit guides are trying to give you ritual and for whatever reason, there's a bit of resistance from you. I don't know if that's resistance because you're uh, too scared about what spirit's going to show you or if the resistance is uh, based on trauma that you've had when you're younger and you, you don't want to go through that again now in your adult version. I'm not really sure. Um, a little bit hard to tell in this particular platform that we're working in as to where exactly that comes from. Um, but your sleep behavior, um, it happens from trauma, sweetheart. So you've got to kind of uh, reprogram and override the trauma, sort of like, you know, uh, like a bug in a computer. You've got to remove the bug and then you have to give the computer instructions for uh new programming okay lotus you're more than welcome sweetheart thanks everybody for joining in with me um for those that don't know my rules and terms and conditions uh i do prefer questions uh it makes it a little bit easier for me to come in and have a look um and how to better advise you if you ask me a straight question whether it's uh, a question about career whether it's a question about finance whether it's a question about uh partnership or relationship uh it just means that my guides can come in and go boom blah 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 blah, blah, blah um speak a mile a minute um and then move on to the next person okay 
Uh, Jackie McKinney. Okay, woke up. I broke up with my boyfriend, New Year's. I'm in a chair and he's still in my life in Kira. If I ever meet someone that doesn't see my chair in love with my brother warning me after the things Dale was meeting. Um, so I'm a little bit confused as to exactly what the question is here. Uh, you're sharing a lot of information, but you're not actually putting it as a question. Um, again, everyone, really important in my terms and conditions that you actually ask it as a question. Okay. Uh, uh, Janet Connolly, I think it is. Um, uh, hello, anything for me today? Uh, could do with some guidance for going forward in life due to hubby not so good um yeah you're in a rock and a hard place babe um first of all you're mentally and emotionally completely exhausted and then add the layer of physical exhaustion by keeping the other person physically active and and as much as you possibly can you're kind of running things for two people at the same time every thought is uh, not just for yourself, it's for that person as well. Uh, so I'm being shown um, your mind's not shutting down at any given time. Um, while hubby is not so good currently, I am being shown roll forward uh, in the next three months or so. So moving it just that little bit um, into the middle of the year, I do see things starting to improve here. So this is actually uh, a really positive thing. Um, I do believe that there's some sort of treatment or something that's been going on uh, in the background there for hubby. Um, and I do feel that we're going to start to see a slightly better improved um, outcome, which I think is definitely something you guys need, uh, which is great. Um, and I I do feel it's putting a lot of pressure uh, financially and in every which direction. So uh, again, um, they're just letting you know, unfortunately, over the next three months, there's not a huge kind of jump and change in anything. Uh, but then uh, after that three month mark, um, so I'm roughly around June, July, uh, that's when things are going to start to pick up for your sweetheart. So just um, keep going the way that you are. Um, I know that you're exceptionally exhausted from everything that you've already been focusing on and everything that you're dealing. And I can see when I roll backwards and look at the past, um, there's so many adjustments and so many things that you guys have had to cope with and deal with and uh, be on top with a lot of changes. So uh, just um, do what you can in your current circumstances. I think you're actually doing an amazing job. You may not feel like it. You may feel like everything is still kind of backwards and you're not actually getting that forward momentum. Um, but they do show me as you've been dealing with everything, they haven't uh, dismissed your problems. Okay, I keep being shown spirit has not dismissed your problems. They know what you need. They just want to make sure that um, kind of like all the ducks in a row, are all there so we don't have to step backwards and repeat it all again okay so um keep going i know uh at the moment it just feels like it's too much for you babe um you are actively learning to ask for help and i think that's one of your greatest past problems is that you weren't always willing to let others uh assist or engage in helping so nice to see that you're doing this now and that you're definitely getting that back on track okay but good things moving forward. So please, let's just get through uh, the next couple of months and then things will start to come up on the improve there for you, Del. Oh, all you beautiful people joining in today. Um, do, do, do. Uh, okay. Um, I've got a um, Sorsha, Sorsha, Fraser, Swinton, I think that's how you say it. Um, it says, hello, can you give me any information on how I'm going to uh, be earning a living soon? Currently no job. Uh, want to set up my own therapy business, just not sure where and how. Uh, there's a two-part to this, Del. Uh, first part is... Uh, current environment doesn't really lend to business platforms. So they're showing me your current space, current living arrangement isn't ideal uh, for a business kind of modellion. Um, but what they are saying to you is uh, looking at the option uh, to rent space 
through somewhere else. So that could be somebody else that has a uh, massage clinic or has a therapy place that allows you then to maybe go in on a Monday and do X, Y, and Z uh, to build up some of that clientele. Um, certainly nothing stopping you from that. Um, you would simply pay a room rent service which might then be for every client that you charge $70 uh, for, just as an example, uh, you might then relinquish 20 of that dollars um, uh, an hour back to whoever you're renting it from. So there's lots of different choices. Um, they tell me there's still more study that you need to do. There's something that you haven't quite finished or you haven't quite uh, completed. Uh That'll help you be a little bit more certified and also give you the option of getting things out there. Um, they're also suggesting that in regards to um, some of the therapy that you've already practiced and that you're already doing, there's nothing stopping you from actively going to people's homes and doing it as a mobile service. You don't always have to have a venue. Uh, you simply have to be able to promote yourself and ensure that the client and the database that you're um, starting to work with allows for the exchange okay so it means that if you're going to somebody's house you might uh charge a little bit more because of travel uh sometimes you might charge a little bit less because you're not renting another space elsewhere so it just depends on your pr um, pricing range and how you want to deal with that uh but certainly no reason why you couldn't actively go right i want to do this uh they tell me that your hesitation is actually your fear Unfortunately, your fear is now your obstacle and that's actually what's getting in the way of your success bite the bullet babe um set your plan up uh prioritize on how you want to market yourself and start to action it. They're telling me to tell you not to make any more excuses, okay? All right. Do, 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 do. Keep going. Question. Will I continue to be successful with my machine tutoring? Uh, this is Chez J. Andrews. Question. Will I continue to be successful with my machine tutoring? Um, it certainly is a unique area in which you work in. Uh, not everybody is uh, able to uh, translate the information that you've got going on there. Uh, I'm definitely being shown some really great positive um outcomes with this they're saying that you may need to consider uh doing something like this as well where it's online learning where you can add a multitude of more clientele um they tell me you've been thinking about it but then uh you're not really sure exactly how it would look or how it would work or um maybe again too much thinking about it um but they're saying uh online options okay think about it also from online options uh there's also some hands-on tactile stuff um but that doesn't mean that they can't do some of the learning in this platform and then you know um after they've done x y and z they then may come to a particular particular day and that would be the day where the tactile part or the hands-on part would be available so um I'm not being shown any reason for it not to be successful. The success, success is already technically sitting there. It's more about you changing the platform so that you can create more growth and more momentum from it. Okay. Uh Judge Rose, uh, if you go back to listening to what they said, they already acknowledged that the opportunity um, to having babies has not been ruled out. So um, they're not saying when the, the option will be there. They're just simply saying that it's an option for it to still be active. Uh, just... I think it's Justine James. Uh, will I move house this year? Question. Uh, will I be, will it be beach or country or close to the house I'm already in? Um, as much as you uh, would love a sea change and also perhaps a bit of a country scope, uh, they're telling me that you are still going to be close to where you currently are. Um, and I think that's more to do with practicality, lifestyle, support. There's a couple of other layered reasons. But when I look futuristically, and this is like way down the track, I still see the beach around you. Um, so I don't feel that that's ever going to be something you then don't at some point achieve. Um, I'm not really sure why you feel you need to do all of that so instantly. You've still got plenty of time in your life to uh, do what's practical and do what's right for you in this current timeline, uh, always with that goal to do something alternatively moving down the track. So, um, yeah, 
I hope that helps you understand that a little bit. All right, uh, Linda Gold. Sorry, I am being mindful of time because we do kicked off, get kicked off here after an hour. Uh, financial please, having massive expenses. Thank you. Oh, Linda, you have had one thing after another. Uh, some of those financial things were on a home front. Some of them were on a vehicle or something else that was mechanical or something or other. Uh, they're telling me that uh, you're definitely getting things back on track. Um, it's tiresome, I'm being told. It's tiresome with the financial. And part of it is because it wasn't all uh, things that you could control, like the outcomes. You couldn't control all of that. Uh, you're only just starting to land back on your feet, but I'm being shown the balance. New money um, uh, starting to flow a little bit better. You've already tweaked a few things, tried to find um, better pricing, better costing, all of that side of it. So you're definitely heading all that in the right direction. I keep being shown you're really tired because uh, you've just been dealing with so much when it comes to um, the layers of money. They keep showing me this thing and then this thing and then this thing, uh, all just kind of hitting and slamming you all at one time. Uh, the worst of it, it's over, okay? Um, and they are showing me that as things start to change and as things start to shift, it's all going to come back on, back on track. Um, and I guess the hurdles and the hiccups, uh, I don't know what the legal or other bits and pieces that have been there that have also been added, uh, I guess, compound stress to these expenses. Uh, this is also going to come to an end, okay? So you're definitely going to get there. Oh. Hi, Michelle Mendes. How are you, sweetheart? Okay. We don't do general reads. My guides don't like them. Um, Sarah Louise Wilkinson. Hi. Uh, question. Will my project succeed? Um, your project is heading in the right direction. Uh, there have been a couple of little hiccups here already. Uh, you seem to have ironed them out reasonably well and reasonably swiftly. Uh, when I'm looking at the progression of this project, you're telling me that there are still some things that you're tweaking and some things that you're refining. And part of this is bringing in a couple of other integral people that can just help the project um create the right momentum and also from a financial point of view. So that could be investors, that could be others that can support aspects of the project. Only aspects, it's not the whole thing. Um, and then once that's sort of resolved, then everything starts to outplay uh, reasonably quite well. So uh, keep going with it, Dal. Um, I haven't been shown any reason to throw your towel down at this point. All I've been shown is, yep, hard work and sweat, pick the towel up and wipe the brow, okay? Because you've got to really push at it to get it somewhere. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay. Last person. My guides are looking for the last person. Who is going to be the lucky one? Oh, Sonia, I'm pretty sure we got to message you. Um, try to come back to it. Um, do keep that in mind, guys. Uh, while these are live, uh, if I've if you happen to be watching and you disappeared because you needed to go and do something, um, it is sometimes worthwhile coming back and listening because I don't always know whether you've gone or not. Um, so it is always worthwhile coming back, having a bit of a listen um, to see whether or not your name uh, came up and I happen to address you. Oh, my first time. Awesome. Oh, thanks, Annette. Welcome aboard, love. Um, you got a little bit of juggling going on there with uh, all the extra with kids and whatnot, but you're definitely on the right path, my love, so you just keep going. <clears throat> oh, welcome aboard, all you beautiful souls that have happened to have poked your heads in. Um, really, really wish uh, I could get through more um, people. Uh, just as a reminder to everybody, uh, if you do want to hear from me, tune back in next week, six o'clock. Come armed with questions, okay? Uh, really put your name in and say, you know, uh, my question is about 
blah, blah, whatever it might be. Um, the, the question process is so much easier for me, okay? I don't use tarot cards. I've got plenty of those things floating around here, and yes, I'm trained in it. I'm also trained as a shaman, so uh, background is in healing and all the rest of it. Uh, but my guides, they really want to um, use this sort of platform at this particular time, between 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock on a Tuesday, uh, just to belt out that one question that you're kind of struggling with on your path and in your journey, okay? So my lucky last person before I got to go is, hi everybody who's still here. Ah, oh, Jojo Rose, you're welcome. We well, gorgeous people watching, but nobody's asking questions. Okay. Who have we got here? All right, couldn't even know the project. Um, I am working on his right for me if I need to focus on something else. Um, this is Steve, uh, Sylvie MB. Sylvie MB. Um, you've got more than one project, sweetheart. So when you're asking that question, you do need to be a little bit better with uh, making it a bit clearer. Uh, there's three different projects that I keep being shown uh, that you've got your head kind of engaged in. Um, and I think that's why you're question marking whether or not you need to focus on something else because these other two projects you've got running in the background, even though you're not tangibly and physically engaged in it, they're all still active, okay? So it's really super important uh, that, um, you keep each project a little bit separate. Um, and when you're working on something like that particular kind of project, you've got to give it everything, okay? I can see sometimes you lose a bit of love for it, you lose a bit of passion for it, uh, you take a breather. And that's okay that you take a breather, but you've got to keep driving it, okay? It's like anything. If you want to be successful at it, you've got to give it 110, okay? You can't just go, oh, I'll come back to it, I'll come back to it. It's not washing, okay? Uh, this is a career path. This is a decision. And it has to be a passion because it's your passion that's going to lead you to the purpose, okay? If you know what you're passionate about, then everything else does actually align up. You're just tweaking and jumping and refining, which is great, but you're trying to work on one too many projects at one time, okay? Uh, if we think about the current one that you're working on, at this moment, I haven't been any, uh, how do I say, been given any diagrams uh, as to, uh, how can I say? Um, the parts that are missing, but they show me there's still bits that you're tweaking, okay? You're still tweaking. Um, there's another person that's also working on this with you, Sylvie. So again, it makes it a little bit hard when there's more than one character. Um, you need to, again, be a little bit more detail um, with the questioning, okay? Um, guys, it's come to that time of the night where I do have to get off, um, love you and leave you. Uh, please do join in next week, six o'clock to seven o'clock. Um, so beautiful that so many people are watching. Uh, we've got um, some lovely uh, questions in there. Uh, I do hope that in uh, the week to come, you've had a bit of an opportunity to think through some of the things you want some answers on, okay? Stay heavenly, everybody. Bye.